Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Deshpande, would like to welcome you all in my Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. This channel is for everybody, for the student, medical students, for the professors, for the faculty, for the upcoming doctors, and for the common man and the patients as well. Today, this is a continuation of a series, Eye Problems, Eye Problems in GP. What is GP? General Medical Practice. General Medical Practice by Family Physician. So this video will, is very useful for the students and the very new practitioners, okay? So myself is Professor Dr. Rajendra Raghuvir Deshpande. I am MD in Ayurvedic Medicine and MD in Ayurvedic Physiology. My WhatsApp number for communication 9226810630. My dear friends, before starting actually the diseases, I have already uploaded the two parts of this series and this is the third and the last part. I have taken into account only very few but very important diseases that are taking place in general practice and rela related with the eyes. What is eye? Eye is like a camera. You can see, we can see. Vision is the main function of the eye. But this is only the organ. The main switches are in the brain. How that particular light rays enter here, cornea. Cornea is the transparent part of the eye. And then here comes the lens. It's like a camera lens. And from there, the light rays enter and go back. And they are making their sensation in the retina. Why the retina? Because there are photosensitive cells, which are called as rods and cones. Okay? So they are very sensitive cells for understanding the vision, for understanding the light. And here that impulse goes through the optic nerve into the brain. This is the main switch number optic centers, 17, 18 and 19 here on the back side. Okay. So finally, we understand any image, its color, its shape, its size at this part and then accordingly our activities happens okay so this is the most important sensory organs i have discussed in this series about the sty chalazion blepharitis conjunctivitis spring catar that already i have uploaded the videos in two parts please take the efforts to see these videos and understand these particular conditions today i am going to discuss about acute i'm sorry Acute dacryocystitis, ITRS, ITRS inflammation, ITRS inflammation. Don't forget this. Conjunctivitis, dacryocystitis. Okay. Next is a senile cataract, corneal ulcer, very serious problem. And cirrhosis and bitot spots are also the problems regarding the eye. And general practitioner, family physician can definitely diagnose can definitely see the symptoms and can definitely treat these particular problems in general medical practice. So let us start with acute dacryocystitis, infection of lacrimal sac, tear here, here at this inner canthus on right side and on the left side, there is a gland which creates the tears and tears are very essential. Water is essential for the lubrication of the eyes to remove the waste uh, foreign particles. Okay, so this is a lacrimal sac. But when it is get infected, it's like a big balloon over there. Okay, so this is an infection of the lacrimal sac, dacryocystitis. What will happen? Erythema, red color, and swelling on the lateral side of the nose. Here is the nose and lateral side. Okay, this is a medial part. This is a lateral part. Okay, so there will be the swelling. Then just below the medial side of the lower eyelid, this is eyelid, this is eyelid, okay? Lower eyelid, can, can, I, can, can you see over here? Can you see? Okay, here exactly, or here, or here you can see, okay? Here will be the swelling. In severe cases, chicks and lower eyelid is also swollen. So infection is little bit more serious. So can you see? This is eye, huh? this is nose, this is lateral side, and here is a that lacrimal sac. Normally, you cannot see like that. This is inflamed. This is because of the infection. And that is a dacryocystitis. Remember this particular uh, picture. I have shown you the picture of the sty. 
I have shown you the picture of telezone in the video. I have shown you the picture of uh, conjunctivities. So everything is easily remembered by remembering only the photos. Okay. So it is if not treated emergently properly. First points below the medial part of the eye. It will be below the eye and burst, huh? leaving a permanent fistula, a tract, hollow tract, infectious tract, which has a two opening that is called fistula, which only one opening that is called sinus. For the students, remember, two openings to the canal, fistula. One opening is a sinus. Actually, fistula is very common in the anorectal region. Anorectal region. So that is anorectal fistula. But this is regarding the lacrimal sac near the eyes. Okay. So can you see over here? Lubricating tear glands. Huh? Lubricating tear glands are here. Okay. And then tear duct. Can you see tear duct? Huh? Then puncta and drainage canals drainage canals this is lower punctum and here you get the blockage in the drainage canal blockage in the drainage canal and then there is a problem okay this is a reflex tear gland reflex tear gland picture is very important now what to do this is a bacterial infection antibiotic yes gentesine eye drops gentamicin eye drops six drops in a day Six times you have to put drops, okay? Only one or two drops. Then internally, also antibiotic. Capsule cephalexin, 500 milligram, four times in a day. Eight, 12, four, eight, okay? Four times in a day for seven days. Don't stop the antibiotic at random. That is very dangerous. My dear family physicians, my dear doctors, you know this, but please convey this message to the patient convince those points because they are afraid of the cost they are having a overconfidence doctor i have been cured there is no swelling there is no redness i don't have any pain the tablet is costly six rupees 15 rupees 20 rupees for one capsule so i have taken only three capsules and then i stop but i get cured that is not okay because abruptly stopping this antibiotic and not completing the course can make you resistance, resistant for that particular antibiotic when the next time that antibiotic will be given, no effect. That is called as resistance to antibiotics. Okay. Tablet will be wrong. This is called as NSAID. Write down N S A I D. Non steroidal anti inflammatory drug. NSAID will be wrong. 100 milligram morning and evening after food for seven days. If first point, the small incision is made into the skin and pus is drained, okay? Once infection has subsided, refer to the ophthalmologist for surgical treatment of that acryosis that. Next problem in general medical practice about eye is a senile cataract. Senile because of the old age, 40 plus, 50 plus, 60 plus age, okay? Progressive. Pain less, no pain. Opacity. Cataract means opacity. Cataract, opacity. Resulting in diminution of the vision. Vision will be less. Occur in the old age. Well, you can see examination with the torch. Opacity is on the lens. Lens, you know, everybody knows the lens. So there will be white patch over there. No drug is available to prevent or to treat the cataract. Remember this thing. This is a scientific modern medicine statement. Modern ophthalmology is saying that there is no drug is available to prevent or to treat the cataract. Okay. But still, I personally feel as an Ayurvedic physician for all the your ophthalmic problems, all the eye problems, kindly note this point. Nowadays, we are more exposed to the computers, to the mobiles, to the laptop to the desktop, to the television, and screening time is increased. Write down this word, screening time. Exposure to the screen. Exposed to the screen, screen, screen of television, screen of mobile, screen of laptop, screen of desktop, 
so this cream definitely gets affect affect your eyes as per concern with the immunity this is dr deshpand desai yes whether you debate or not i don't mind but i 100% sure that because of increased the screening time your eye immunity is becoming less and in that you are awaking late at night you don't sleep proper at 11 o'clock or 10:30 or 10 o'clock no many people go for 12 then after 12 midnight they go on late sleep that is also bad for the eyes and third is the air pollution that is also the problem with the eyes so all these are contributory factor i am not saying this is the only cause but eye immunity as you generally talk about general immunity in the corona but i personally feel every organ has its immunity and because of the less immunity the problems with that organ are also increasing regarding the ophthalmology also okay next only treatment for cataract is surgical that is the less lens extraction and replacement with artificial lens so cataract patients better refer to the ophthalmologist by family physician if surgery is not possible immediately correct refractory error at least correct refractory error vision problem and also most important part for the cataract control the diabetes mellitus if the patient having comorbidity associated diseases like for example blood sugar is raised blood pressure is raised so to get the relief in the cataract to get the relief in any eye problem the diabetes sugar should be under controlled and blood pressure also should be under controlled whether with allopathic drugs ayurvedic drugs homeopathic but it should be under control and objectively it should be assessed not only internally oh, no doctor i don't have any diabetes that is not at all correct okay next if not necessary to wait for immature cataract to mature with time for surgery there is no need now delay in surgery is also risky delay in surgery of cataract is dangerous because that can make complications like lens induced glaucoma lens induced glaucoma and displacement of lens so this is you can see here here is okay but here is a, this is senile arcus that is not a problem that is according to the old age but this opacity can you note this opaque no transparency white color is there that is cataract okay so now here you can see normal eye eye with the cataract okay pupil can you see everybody knows the pupil then eyes okay then this is this pupil is becoming white over here this is cataract then this is lens this is retina this is clear image but with the cataract can you see blurred blurry image not clear image okay now next disease is a corneal ulcer for the eye which can be uh, examined and treated by family physician in general medical practice ulcer immediate severe pain and severe photophobia the patient cannot see towards sun towards simple light tube light and any lamp patient cannot see towards the light he afraid of seeing the light that is called as a photophobia phobia is a fear photo means light okay profuse lacrimation because it is also on the affected side whether it's right or whether it's uh, left on examination the doctor will check then small ulcer will be seen on the cornea area surrounding the cornea has a bluish blood vessels radiating outwards from the limbus capillaries outwards from the limbus most of the ulcers are because of the pollution and getting infected with microorganisms like bacteria or viruses now you can see corneal ulcer this is not cataract huh? this is at, a, at one point huh? this is a corneal ulcer okay what to do first antibiotic ciplox eye drops two hourly to a very serious disease atropine eye drops atropine constrict the blood vessel so no fear of the light constriction of the pupil okay atropine Uh, three times in a day i drops chloromycetin aplicap at the bed time paste paste is there then bandage the eye bandage the eye with sterile pad sterile pad is important sterile eye pad okay the voveron injection i am sorry tablet injection is also available for severe pain 
दिस इज डायसाइक्लोफिनेक सोडियम जेनेरिक नेम डायसाइक्लोफिनेक सोडियम एंड दिस इज ट्रेड नेम वॉट इज एस आर सस्टेन्ड रिलीज सस्टेन द एक्शन विल बी फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टू इवनिंग एट नाइट फ्रॉम नाइट टू मॉर्निंग सो एक्शन इज ट्वेल्व आवर्स एस आर सस्टेन्ड रिलीज टैबलेट ओके so it is given bd only two times in a day after breakfast after dinner that's it okay capsule mox amoxicillin 500 mg qid 8 am 12 noon 4 pm 8 pm okay if after 5 days there is no response to the ulcer ulcer is not healing better refer to the ophthalmologist next and last point of this video that is xerosis of the conjunctiva and bitot spots these are the signs of vitamin a deficiency i looks dry dryness is a special feature of xerosis rather xerosis means dryness and with the dryness there is no luster in the eyes luster less huh? dry and luster less xerophthalmia or xerosis and bitot spots bitot spots are seen what is the feature rough triangular white patches in the conjunctiva what is bitot spots rough triangular white patches in the conjunctiva on the side of cornea okay so can you see here white and dry patches this is these are the bitot spots bitot this these are the bitot spots this is pupil this is sclera okay can you see this is cornea so here these are the vitamin a deficiency in the malnourished the children especially okay what you can do to control the dryness moy sol i drops that is methyl cellulose one drop four times in a day qid then vitamin a yes injection aquasol a vitamin a 2 ml every week only once but for three weeks injection aquasol a for vitamin a deficiency one injection per week for three weeks okay tablet multivit fm multivitamin od only one, once for one month and then also he has to wear sunglasses to prevent more dryness okay so my dear friends this is all about today's video and remember this is are the educational videos so disclaimer vaidhani ki ishara kaun si bhi bimari mein yatha avashyak yatha kal vaidhya ki salah lena bahut hi zarurat hai if anybody of you suffering from cerebral palsy arthritic problem motor neuron disease paralysis cancer attention deficit hyperactive disorder idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura or any such type of chronic diseases sexual diseases autoimmune diseases please don't hesitate to contact ayurveda academy which is a team of doctors okay on 9226810630 i wish you all the best because i request that please like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell button icon to get the interesting videos from professor dr r r deshpande so thank you very much sarve pishkena santu sarve santu niramaya